This is the Microsoft Surface Pro from 2016. But how good is it today? Because it's already a very old device, however it still has a nice 2-in-1 form factor and you can pick these up for a really good price today. First let's look at the build quality because that is one of the big upsides of this model. It feels very well made. It has this aluminium feel on the back and it has this built-in kickstand on the back so you can put it in a different angle. So it's really cool that you can adjust these angles and because it is using this kickstand then when you touch the screen it doesn't wobble too much. And when you are buying them used you can get them in just the tablet but you can also buy them with the type cover. And I definitely recommend to get one with the type cover because then this device really feels like an actual laptop. So now you have a nice backlit keyboard and a big trackpad. So I really like the spacing of the keyboard. It feels very nice and the typing experience is also very comfortable. Sadly on my model the keyboard has worn out a bit so it doesn't look that nice anymore. But it still works completely fine and in terms of ports you have a headphone jack here on the left side. And on the right side you have a mini display port, a USB port and a Surface Connect port. So that is nice for charging and under the kickstand there is a micro SD card slot. And I really like the micro SD card slot. But one USB port can feel very limited sometimes. So maybe you need to get an adapter if you want to connect multiple things to the Surface. The battery life of the Surface Pro 4 is sadly pretty disappointing today. Obviously it is a very old machine and the battery life was decent back then but now it isn't great at all anymore so i can get about two hours maybe of use and then it will be very low on battery and that's just doing basic things so watching youtube so if you want a two-in-one device with a very good battery life then don't get this surface it has a built-in touchscreen and the screen looks really nice in my opinion it has nice vibrant colors it's only 60 hertz but for me that's not an issue at all because the screen is so nice there are also front-facing dual speakers that sound really nice. So they are really good for tablet but nothing amazing for a laptop but because they are on the left and the right side they have a really nice stereo effect to them. But how is the performance of this old Surface Pro 4 today? Well it is okay. So the model that I have is the 6th generation Core M3 model with 4GB of RAM. It also has 128GB of storage. So that's okay but it's not that much. Maybe for a few local files. But you don't want to save huge video files on this device. So when browsing the web it works fine but sometimes a little bit slow. And you might have to wait sometimes for it to load. And you don't want to have multiple tabs open, especially with this 4GB of RAM. So it is not meant for photo editing, it's also not meant for video editing. And you can only do some basic web browsing on it. And typing some basic Word documents for example. And you don't want to have a lot of apps open at the same time. Another downside is that it is only a 6th generation processor. But if you don't mind waiting sometimes a bit then it isn't really bad. But what is bad is that there aren't any software updates anymore. So that is pretty disappointing. You are stuck on Windows 10. You won't be able to get Windows 11 officially on the Surface Pro 4. So you need the Surface Pro 6 or later for Windows 11. And that means that it isn't very secure to use anymore. And that is pretty disappointing because if they just give some more software updates then this would have still been fine to use if you just needed to do some basic things. But sadly because of the old Windows 10 and just a not that great performance I don't really recommend it to get one today unless you can find one for a very good price and your expectations for the performance aren't very high. So should you get one today? I don't really think so. If you still have one and you are happy with it then you can still use it but keep in mind that it doesn't have any software updates anymore. So sadly while it is a very beautiful 2-in-1 tablet and laptop I don't really recommend it today. But what do you think of the Microsoft Surface Pro 4? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.